Tenakoto, ko Anton Toko Ingoa, ke Green Bay High School aho e mahi ana, no Pilipinas aho e noho ana o ki waitakere. Kia ora everyone, my name's Anton and I'm a kaifakato hakinakina and I work in five primary schools in my local area in West Auckland with the aim to plant the seed of sport, active recreation and play to grow healthy, active tamariki. Check out what I've been up to this year. A big focus for the year was to incorporate cultural games into sessions. Before the school year started, I was taught Maori games and tikanga. With these teachings, I designed games based on Māori atua. These games reinforced what the students were learning in class through fun physical activities. I taught teachers and students the traditional Māori game, Kiorahi. This enables the kids to play other sports since Kiorahi involves skills from a blend of sports, from passing and catching like netball or basketball, to evasion and scoring like ripper rugby. To build on our knowledge of Kiorahi, I taught the terminology of the playing field and the story behind the game. Near the start of the year, we had to go into lockdown. To make light of the situation, I made videos for students to show them how to play cultural Pacifica games. I took the Tongan game Heiu, Fijian game Pani, and even the Hawaiian game Ulumaika, and showed students how to play these games at home. This proved to be an easily accessible way for students to stay active with their whānau. Another focus for the year was training up sports leaders so that they can provide sporting opportunities for their own schools. We discussed what leadership meant to us and related our definitions with our local Arataki guardians. We also explored the importance of school values and communication skills through practical games. After a lot of practice, student leaders confidently ran games for students during lunch times. It was great to see their schools benefiting from all the hard work the leaders did. Sports leaders at Kauri Lands even ran a Tapawai tournament for the Year 4 Syndicate. It was a great learning experience for the leaders and a wonderful sporting opportunity for the Year 4s. Before the second term began, I learned about Chinese customs and games like Drop the Handkerchief and Eagle in Hand. These weren't too different to familiar playground games, so students were able to learn quickly. During the different language weeks, I taught relevant cultural activities such as the Samoan Sasa during Samoan Language Week. Patia! Patia! At Kauri Lands Primary School, I brought in James Glenn from the Halberg Foundation to upskill teachers on inclusion. Here's Mr. V from Bruma Fa to talk about what he learned. So we've all done this inclusion PE. I've noticed a real shift in the attitude to how we teach PE. I think lots of people are looking at it as how can we get more students involved at once. I think I'm seeing more people out there where kids are being more active across the board. They're not sitting and waiting to take turns to throw a ball into one hoop. They're all doing lots of engaging activities at once. So that is one shift I'm seeing happening in our PE programs. It's also, I think, really helps our teachers think how do we cater for our diverse learners and kids with special needs. So that's really um, opened their eyes to that, that sort of lens when you teach PE. And I'm hoping that we should see more inclusion and making more, um, having more kids make more progress across the board in PE. At Green Bay School, I ran an after-school German and handball program, a club where we explored the German language through the sport of handball. I got help from local experts Frank, Alexandra and Leone and it turned out to be a big success.
Throughout the year, I taught teachers how to efficiently run a variety of sports with their class. Here's Mrs. Pacey from Titarangi Primary School to talk about her experience. Hi, my name is Nikki. I'm a, a teacher at Titarangi Primary School uh, in a year three, four class. Um, once a week on a Monday, Anton comes in for a sports session and one week um, just before lockdown, he came and taught a really cool hockey game. And after the session, we got back to class and they were buzzing and they actually um, just kept talking about it all the time. So a few days later, um, they'd done some really good work inside and we needed a brain break or some downtime. And instead of them just running around the court or going onto the senior playground, I said to them, did they want to play the game of hockey? Um, there was lots of shouting from the sidelines for their team, giving them tactics, lots of instructions, lots of shouting of encouragement, um, lots of discussion as who was going to be in the goal so that um, they didn't shoot. And then eventually one team got a goal. So. They went back to their um, sidelines and then I called another number out and this continued for about half an hour. And they were so awesome. During the latter end of the school year, I was once again forced to stay at home. So of course, I made more videos. Inspired by the Olympics, I designed a gymnastics lockdown challenge where students could track their skill progression in a series of gymnastics activities. The Paralympics also inspired me as I showed students how to play boccia at home. As school started to open up again, I made videos on activities that could be done both at school and at home. These consisted of games that needed little to no equipment and challenges they could compare scores with for their friends. say it's been another one of those crazy years with its ups and downs but I can confidently say it's still been a fruitful one. Personally I've learned a lot this year and I've had the wonderful opportunity to pass these learnings onto my primary school. Thank you so much for watching that has been me and I'll see you around.